not related to All Japan Pro Wrestling for Men, which was founded in 1972. All Japan Women's Pro Wrestling, nicknamed Zenjo, was a Joshi Puroresu promotion established in 1968 by Takashi Matsunaga and his brothers. The group held their first card on June the 4th of that year. For many years it had a TV program on Fuji TV. The All Japan Women's Pro Wrestling Corporation, established in 1968, was the successor to the All Japan Women's Pro Wrestling Association, which had been formed in August 1955, to oversee the plethora of women's wrestling promotions that had sprung up in Japan following a tour in November 1954 by Mildred Burke and her World Women's Wrestling Association. These promotions included the All Japan Women's Pro Wrestling Federation and the All Japan Women's Wrestling Club, started in 1948, which was the first women's wrestling promotion in Japan. For a time the club pushed female wrestling as a legitimate sport, booking sporting arenas. By the mid-60s, the association had fallen apart due to infighting between the member promotions, and female wrestling was relegated back to being a sideshow act in striptease theatres. In 1967, another attempt to organize the sport of women's professional wrestling was made with the new All Japan Women's Pro Wrestling Association. This time the fabulous Moolah, the NWA women's champion, came across from the United States, and traded her title with Yukiko Tomo to lend legitimacy to the promotion. The new association broke up later that year. Finally, Takashi Matsunaga, who had been the promoter for All Japan Women's Pro Wrestling Federation, formed the All Japan Women's Pro Wrestling Corporation with his brothers. The promotion held its first card on June 4, 1968, and got a television deal with Fuji TV in the same year. In the fall of 1970, AJW, which had been contesting the American Girls Wrestling Association Championship since the previous year, hosted Marie Vagnon, new holder of Mildred Burke's WWWA World Heavyweight Championship which had been revived in a WWWA tournament earlier that year in Los Angeles. On October 15, 1970, in Tokyo, Vagnon lost the WWWA title to Eiko Kyo and AJW had a new world championship singles belt. The next year, AJW acquired the WWWA World Tag Team Championship as well, when Jumbo Miyamoto and Eiko Kaio were made the first champions on June 30, 1971. During the early 1970s, AJW's championship booking was dominated by the traditional trading between a Japanese face and a foreign heel. The tag belt for example, was traded 56 times between 1971 and 1975, each time between a Japanese team and an American team. This pattern began to change in 1975 with the new stardom of Mark Fumiak and the beauty pair. On March 19, 1975, Mark Fumiak won the WWWA Championship from Jumbo Miyamoto, breaking the pattern in the singles division. After that, only three non-Japanese women ever won the belt, the Canadian Monster Ripper, on July 31, 1979 and March 15, 1980, the Mexican La Galactica, on May 7, 1983, and the American Amazing Kong, on June 4, 2004. During the 1980s, AJW continued to feature extraordinarily talented and popular female wrestlers including Wrestling Observer Newsletter Hall of Famers Jaguar Yokota, Devil Masami, Dump Matsumoto, and The Crushed Girls, and Bull Nakano. The feud between the pop culture sensations, The Crushed Girls, and the heel stable, Gokyu Akudomi, led by Matsumoto, was possibly the most popular wrangle in all of Japanese wrestling during the 1980s bring very high ratings to AJW's weekly television program. Up until 1986, AJW had been the only major women's wrestling promotion in Japan. Then, on August 17, 1986, Japan Women's Pro Wrestling was started 
by former AJW stars Jackie Sato and Nancy Kumi, as well as boxer Umika Zama and others. In the 1990s the number of Joshi Puraresu promotions kept increasing, until, by the end of the decade, there were no fewer than seven operating in Japan.